This is Dr. Phil Chavez. September 14th is the Feast of the Exaltation, or the Triumph of the Holy Cross. Now in this case, what does exaltation mean? Brothers, it is that honor given to the cross of Christ, which was that instrument through which Jesus offered himself for our salvation. We embrace it, we exalt it, for through it we have eternal life. Now it's on September 13th, 335 AD, the Church of the Holy Sepulcher in Jerusalem was dedicated. Emperor Constantine built this basilica over Calvary, marking the site of the crucifixion, the tomb of Jesus, and the cistern in which Constantine's mother, St. Helen, found the true cross and other remnants of our Lord's passion, including the nails. Now she discovered these years earlier by miracle on September 14, 320, when she led an expedition to the Holy Land in search of the locations relevant to Jesus' life. In 614 AD, the Persian king, Chrysoas II, waged war on the Romans. And after conquering Jerusalem, he confiscated many treasures, among which was this true cross of Jesus from that basilica. The Byzantine emperor, Heraclius II, waged war against the Persians and was victorious near Nineveh. He demanded restitution of the cross, which he himself returned to Jerusalem, carrying it on his own back and restoring it to the Holy Sepulchre Church in 629 AD. Now the site of that church has been in continuous existence. And brothers, one of the most powerful experiences one can have is inside this church, is to put one's hand into that crevice which was hewn out of the rock on Golgotha in order to insert the vertical beam on which our Lord was crucified. The cross of itself, brothers, is a brutal reality and the cruelest form of execution. Any photo or depiction of someone hanging is of itself pretty gruesome. Brothers, cruelty is not was is exalted on this feast of the cross. Exalted is the love that God manifested through his son by accepting death upon it for all of us. This makes the cross a beautiful reality for Christians everywhere. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your cross you have redeemed the world. So Lord, teach us always in your image to deny ourselves, to take up our cross, and to follow you. Brothers, God be with you.